Good afternoon world from the Philippines. Welcome. <laughs> Did you fall over? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we are at a brand new villa here on Shargao Island in the Philippines, which has recently been named the New Bali. The New Bali, the new that Bali. is it, yes. I'm hearing it a lot <laughs> and I can see why. Let's show you this villa we're just staying in now, which has a very Balinese aesthetic. Let's go and have a look. As soon as you enter this property, you walk into this beautiful tree-lined walkway with the lighting here, and then straight down to the sea. Quick recap, if this is the first video of ours you've ever seen, we're a British family that got locked down in the Philippines three years ago. We decided to stay and make a life here. So Sasha, myself and my daughter and our little Filipino Aspen dog live here on Shargao Island and our family is here to visit yes. which is why we've rented this beautiful villa. Exactly and also it's a special villa because tomorrow it is Jay and his brother who are here it is their birthday tomorrow. They're not twins they were born two years apart yeah. but they have the same birthday. It's really weird <laughs> and this is the first time we'll be celebrating a birthday together in many years yeah. so we're super excited. So we've rented this lovely family villa which we'll show you inside in just a moment. Yeah. The kids are already in the pool. We've already had lunch in this beautiful outside deck here. I'm just going to quickly point out the outside shower, which is here. Yes, very... Surrounded by the leaves. Very Instagrammable. <laughs> yes. And this is a very, very cool structure outside. This is an outdoor eating space, which is like typical Balinese style, isn't it? It's very nice. Especially with this Nipah roof here, which is also Shargao style, I will say. Shargao and Bali share it's similar traits. Isn't it? Yeah. And we've got bananas growing in the garden, there's papayas right over there. Really tropical, really lovely. What we're going to do now is run down to show you the beachfront view because it looks like it's about to pour with rain. So we'll do the view first. Kids are enjoying the infinity pool. Stories having a little rest on the deck out here. Family is enjoying the outdoor space. There's an amazing breeze coming through. Probably so breezy you can hear it on the camera. And Story is going to show us down to the sea before it starts peeing down with the rain. Wow, look at this garden space. Grass is really soft on the feet. Nicely landscaped. And then you go straight out here to that island view. <laughs> Check it out. It's low tide at the moment, isn't it, Story? Yeah, these beautiful dogs here. You can see the fishing wharf over there. What's it like up there? Is it? A bit like riding a horse, I guess. <laughs> that is Guyam Island. This is how we know the rains are coming. There's a massive island just over there where this doggy is looking out towards. You can't see it at all. It's completely covered with rain. It is hiding in the mist out there. Very atmospheric. So I think I'm the only one who hasn't seen any of this house yet. Do you think you could give me a house tour, please? Look at this beautiful Balinese villa. Yeah. That is next door. Yeah, I'm doing a bit of construction there because this is a very new area. Yes. Is in the way, there's a little Pikachu there, isn't there? There's Pikachu in there. Yeah, Uncle Cam is enjoying that space there. I feel like you need a drink in your hand. Yeah, <laughs> get the drinks out. <laughs> and then there's this beautiful furniture here. Oh, I love that. And then here. Look at Papa as well. Look, she's fully relaxed on her chair there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the dining table. Yeah. This is the abstract. Abstract arts. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Nice kitchen. Mm -hmm. I like these bar stools here where you can sit and enjoy breakfast. It has some swan soy sauce. <laughs> there is a coffee machine. Wow, that's we very rare. Yeah, me too. This is probably one of the bedrooms. Knew it. Ooh, so this is one of the bedrooms, eh? Yeah. It's my first time seeing the bedrooms. Right, so this room is going to be Cat Michelle's room because right opposite is the kids' room, which is the two twin beds. So this is the closest they can be to the kid room. It's the best family yeah. setup. Yeah, and also but, it has an ensuite bathroom. Do you want to show a story? Yeah, there's actually two bathrooms. Oh, that's fantastic. We need two bathrooms. So this is sinks yeah. and then a shower. Mm. 
Okay, nice. I haven't seen this either yet, so let's see. I like the colour of this wall. It's yeah, very nice. Okay. And then it's this not small. It is a nice colour, isn't it? Yeah. And then here's the toilet. Nice. Yeah. Leonie just went in there, by the way. <laughs> TMI. These are the lights. Oh, show me those pretty light switches. They're good switches, aren't they? They look cool, don't they? Yeah. Nice. One more secret door in this room. I saw this. It one. opens out. Ah. Uh, outside, and then there's some seating. A little yeah. seating area here. That is cool, yeah. So that's really nice. So you can it's double up. It's like a real like family room, isn't it? We were blowing up some floaties. So the bathrooms are kind of like half outdoor, half indoor setup, which is cosy and convenient enough. I don't think there's going to be any wildlife coming in here because it's all concreted around the edge. But when you look up through the leaves, you can actually see the outside space. This is the twin room you just mentioned. Yes. Right opposite the big room. This is our bedroom. Yeah? That's where you're sleeping, Leonie. Ooh, oh, there's still residing behind there. I can hear the raindrops falling down outside now, so we were correct. But it's nice to be in that kind of open environment, especially when you have the tropical weather. It does feel nice to be part outdoors, part indoors, which is again, very Balinese style. Yes, that open, open living, yes. like where your inside is your outside. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I just noticed, you can see this place is fairly new because they've got these plug sockets which have USB ports in them and a few different types of outlet. You'll find that newer places tend to think about that. Especially if you're an Instagrammer, you're coming yeah. here, your phone's near charging and you yeah. might have forgotten something. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like this room, Leone? Yeah. Ooh. I've just turned on the air conditioning so you can cool down in here. Have a little rest. Nice view, isn't it? The tunes are on. Getting down the hallway here to see which room is this? So I think this will be your mum's room. Oh, very fancy for Quapwa. Nice. This is a four bedroom villa. So we haven't quite worked out all the sleeping arrangements yet. We're not sure if uh, Story will want to sleep with her grandma or if she'll want to sleep in with us. They're massive beds, aren't they? They're bigger than a, like your normal bed. I think it's like a king size. Yeah. So there's plenty of space for two people. But, but if Story wants to sleep in our room, more than enough space. And another little bonus of this room has its own little deck out here. Oh, that's pretty, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You can have, watch the rain dripping down from the Nipa. <laughs> it's very smart. It is a beautiful view. Right, one more room, which is where Jay and I are going to be sleeping. You can hear that rain really loud, can't this you? This will be our room, our space Ooh. for the next few days. Beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? It's stunning. Yeah, and also I thought it would be good for us because we can set up our laptop here and do some work. <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect room for us. Yeah. Wow, fantastic. They've all got a very similar style, but they feel quite different at the yeah, same very time. Same, oh, it's the same kind of decor, same furnishings and stuff in each room. I love these lamps. It's so simple. It's like what they use as a brush, like to brush the floor, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same and material, isn't it? Into it? A lamp, which is interesting. I like how the air conditioners are hidden behind these little covers here. It makes yeah. it look a little bit more... It makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, when you can't see them. And I like the cupboards as well, how they're little alcoves. Yeah, and nooks. The cupboards, yeah. And a wardrobe as well, a big wardrobe space. Perfect. Yeah. And the bench, made out of concrete, <laughs> the concrete styling in here, I like this as well. It is good. And the bench at the end of the beds. Yeah, that's nice, being you, able to sit at the bottom there. Although, as soon as we get our stuff in here, it's probably going to have clothes on it. Yeah, we'll under it, we can put it underneath yeah. so you can't see it all the time. Oh, I really like this. That is cool, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely. Nooks. I love that, I love their styling. And again, look, we have a garden view. Oh wow, look at the little garden. Oh yeah, this must be the front of the house. Yeah. It is really stunning. It would be perfect if you could bring a pet here, but unfortunately it is not pet friendly. It's not pet friendly, even though the street dogs are coming in off the beach and sitting in the living area yeah. when, they're, when they're wandering around, but maybe the dogs are territorial, so if you bring a dog here they might fight or... I don't know, but it's not pet friendly, so our dog Poppy is actually at our house with a dog sitter. Yes. This is our very first time using a pet sitter on the island and it's a very new service as well. Hopefully everything goes well. If Poppy gets a good relationship with Blanche, which is her name, then we'll be able to use her to come look after Poppy while we go on further adventures yeah. in the future. So this was a bit of a test and we also wanted to stay in this particular property because it would be perfect for our birthday celebrations. Today is also the first day that we've gotten to show 
the extended family General Luna, which is one of the main parts of Shargao Island. It's the part that feels the most Balinese in a sense because of all the fancy cafes and restaurants and boutique -y places like this place that we're staying in right now. There are quite a few different villas that hit this mark. This one being one of the newest ones. If you don't already know, my family is from the city of London in the UK. So they're used to a very different type of life. My brother has brought his kids out to Asia for the first time in their lives. They haven't actually seen this part of the world yet. So to get used to how the weather changes from one to the other so quickly is a unique experience and part of being in the tropics. Just adapting to the lifestyle here, getting used to being outdoors while you're indoors. All of these little bits, you don't think that they're important, but they're all part of showing people a different side of the world. And because we've chosen to live out here, it's nice to give the family a little taste of what it's like down at this part of the island and also up where we live, where it's a very different vibe. We haven't even made it out into the high street yet or seen any of the General Luna restaurants or sites or scenes. But this is a good place to start. There's one more room we haven't shown you yet, which is the outdoor bathroom, the common bathroom, which is really cool. I actually haven't seen it myself, so let's go and film that now. Okay, just outside of our room, into this room. Listen to the sound of that rain. It's loud, isn't it? Incredible styling though. Again, I love the color of the walls here. I actually love this noise as well. It's very therapeutic, the shape of these mirrors and the shape of these sinks with this kind of cheese mottled effect. Feels very cool. And these ladder racks here, you can put your towels on them to dry and then you shower outside in the rain, <laughs> in a rainfall shower. It's very smart. I'm actually standing right here getting wet so I don't need to use any water to have my shower. It's all about the teeth, the school. Well, your book is. Hmm? Your yeah. book is all about school. Right now. It's just about the people in the school. So there was the kids, the teachers, and then these like the men and lady teachers. Okay. They have really weird names. Like what? Diggits, Mr. Black, Mr. Brush, Miss Gibber. And the other page is so funny. This page is like the kids. It's right. called, so the kids are Bug, Knuckles, Daft, Pongo, boom. They got funny names. And it? Pongo mm -hmm. is always followed by a stinky brown cloud. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Cam is utilizing the coffee machine. This is the very first time we've had a coffee machine in any of the Airbnbs we've stayed at. How does it work? Um, pod in here. Bosch. We're heading out for dinner. Uh -huh. Walking into the streets of General Luna. Ah! Off I was on route. I don't know what I'm treading on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Leonie. Are you enjoying your walk? Yeah, I love that. It's lighting up the street for us, thank you. Yeah. Well, there are street lights as well. And that is, yeah. <laughs> we were thinking about taking the cars tonight, but then we figured it's definitely better to get out and walk the streets. You see so much more, and you get to absorb why and what things look like at a street level. Ah, the noise of General Luna. We are heading to Thai Foon Restaurant. We've actually not been here before. We've been meaning to for some time. We're walking past the courthouse right now. It's a GL tour. Tricycles going by. Do you remember this? This is where you got your last photocopy before you left the yeah. island. Yeah, do you remember you I had to get through the curb? Through the curb, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just I don't remember the shop. <laughs> yeah, that was where you got your photocopy for your documents before we left the country. Remember that? You got your Xerox. All right, nostalgia complete. Now it's time for some Thai food. So we're going straight through the kitchen. Oh yeah, up down. Upstairs. Upstairs, yeah. I like this. We've yeah. got some retro styling here. Nice pictures yeah. from Bangkok, yeah. Thailand, where we used to live. <laughs> into the upstairs restaurant. Looks like we've got this place all to ourselves right now. Look at these incredible spring rolls. They look so big and well made, don't they? 
It's a little bit of a step up from the lumpia that we normally get, isn't it? <laughs> I hope they taste better as well. Yeah, they're really chunky. Yeah, vegetable, not, not beef spring rolls. <laughs> Everyone seems to be getting the food now. So we've got some pad thai veg right now. Story's enjoying those fresh bean sprouts. How are they? Look at you, vegan kid. You love that. They are very good. Oh, fantastic. Yum. Mm, they are fresh as well. It tastes like almost oh lemony. My goodness. They're really good, aren't they? Amazing. What happened? Is that a good face or a bad face? <laughs> I'm seeing a dance. Ah, story review. <laughs> Papa went for the shrimp pad thai with the egg on it as well. Whew, we're all finished up at Typhoon. Delicious food. Everything came to 3,690 pesos for the whole family. It's really, really good. The spring rolls there were incredible. So was the pad thai. They had vegan options, which is good. We're just doing a little walk down the boulevard here for Papa to see the places that she went to before she escaped Shargal three years ago, just during the pandemic. Story's just helping the kids get their ball back. They've got a volleyball game going on here down by the boulevard. And this is one of the trees we always used to sit under watching the world go by. All right, the night is ending here at Halika. We've all got sorbets, gelatos. It's looking good. Was that avocado your one? Avocado, yes. Uh, they don't normally have that, do they? No. Must be in season. Mandari, avocado, lemon. Yes. And Auntie Cheryl went for the ube cheese one. Tell me if it actually tastes like cheese or not. Because obviously I've never tried that. Cheesy? Yeah. No, I don't know actually. It should be like a kind of sweet potato flavour with cheese on it. I don't know, it's like a... It feels a bit bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> not I like fair. it. I'll eat it. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> I'll eat it. This is Michelle's review. I'll eat it. <laughs> Hello, sweetie cat. Who are you? You come to have a look at our motorbike? Ooh, mommy's got her bike back. Showing more of that later. The kids are actually having a naked swim in the pool, so I'm not going to be filming that. I'm going to do the shout out for today. I've had a fun day actually. I've enjoyed this. It's been really good. And today's shout out goes to Mars Lads. Huge thank you to Mars Lads for becoming a member one month ago. You've got the little cloud icon next to your name because it shows you how long you've been a member for and it upgrades over time. If you guys are interested in becoming a member yourself to get shout outs, watch the exclusive weekend vlogs, the members only posts, hit the join button down below or in the top comment. I'm really happy that we're getting to share these moments with my family. And I can certainly see why they're saying that Shargao is becoming the new Bali. There's been plenty of development in the three years that we've been living here. Hopefully it won't go too far in the wrong direction, but Shargao is big enough to be able to spread out some of that love and some of that wealth, I guess, so that it won't be too busy everywhere. You'll still be able to find your pocket of what makes Shargao special right now. We feel like we've been here just at the right time to experience the growth of this island. That's why we decided to stay here long term. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you in the next one. Bye!